sees is distinct from other graduate programs. And I think some of the advantages are it's a little smaller than others, so I, you really get to know the faculty and it's a little easier to cross the disciplines. We're not huge and that's a great thing. We're part of a community that is collegial, that is maybe just the right size. All of C's is perhaps 70 faculty and those 70 faculty with our strong collaborators in physics, in math, in statistics, in um, actually the social science as well, as economics, in the biological sciences. So that gives us a wider purview and a wider community. There's actually a lot of similar projects going on between the different groups and some overlap, but unlike some other schools that I've visited, I actually never felt like this was a problem. I've never felt like there was any form of competitiveness, um, and this is something I really appreciate, that I can talk to a professor that is working on a similar field and he can just help me and help me brainstorm. As a graduate student, I'm not limited to courses in my exact subspecialty. I'm allowed and encouraged to take classes in other areas of my field. CESA is really nice in that it's not too big but it's rapidly growing, which is a very good place to be because, for example, um, even uh, when I was looking at graduate school, so five years ago, I was told by some people that CS wouldn't have, for example, as good of facilities as some of the other places I might be looking at because it was very small. And that may have been the case maybe five or ten years ago, but it's certainly not the case now. So it's really nice. We have state-of-the-art facilities now. We have um, really nice nanofabrication, really nice imaging, very nice laboratories. I, I think everybody is so open and you can learn so many things from different people. Yeah. That's, uh, I, I'm, I got, I, I think I'm, I'm so fortunate to be part of, part of CES.